Hey everybody, welcome back to Blake Kitten. It's it's that time of the year again. I've lost a group of my friends. We were gonna meet here, but they haven't shown up. Did you check with the redheads? I asked them, but yeah, I know what they're like. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am? How old do I look? Sorry, it's hard to tell with humans. So do you remember anything that was happening in this game previously? Um, we fought a bunch of cops and then we met the guy that's actually in charge and he contracted out the cops and now we're supposed to go help some cops and I hate that. Something like that, I think. But now and we I, also have to look for that person's friends, I guess. I guess. And I totally didn't just, you know, rewatch last year's episode an hour before the call. <laughs> So there's supposed to be treasure in there, but I got it and then restarted and it didn't respawn the treasure chest. Oh, it's Great. one time only. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unique treasure. Oh, yeah. I really forgot just how poorly she controls in this. Uh, yeah, but it, yeah. But it, at some point you click a little bit and you start to understand, and it still doesn't control good, but you you understand why she is doing the thing she's doing. So right, you kind of figure out how to gently caress it into what you're trying to do. Yeah, you have to learn to manipulate her momentum. Oh. Camera? Uh. Camera? <laughs> hey, well, I'm gonna Mega Man slide over this way. So we spent all that time trying to go upwards, and now we're just going back down into the sewers. Mm -hmm. Game, I implore you to have one idea. Just any oh. idea that's not the sewers. <laughs> well, they'll... you'll see some ideas later in this episode. Great. I'm not sure if you'll like the ideas, but there's something. Uh, you know what? At this point, I'm willing to try not anything, but many things. <laughs> if the game's going to try something other than let's go underground again, I'll at least hear it out. Of course, it'll be a bit. Yeah, I... Oh, I don't even well, know hurt me. where we're supposed to be. Like, it's not a sewer, but it's oh, some kind of crusher factory, I guess. Ooh, she just turned around for no reason. That's fun. So <sighs> okay, so well let's go. God damn it! All right, let's just go back. We know we need to go to the right. Oh, that's. Fun. Uh, hey, that's a cool kit. move. Okay, well, she's fine. <sighs> so is this where that one person's friends are supposed to be? <laughs> I guess? I, I think so. We'll, we'll meet up with some people in a moment once we, once we get through this whole section. Okay. And I hate to tell you, but this whole this whole section was a red herring. I did not need to do this switch for anything other than to turn that the opposite direction so I could go and get that treasure. Which, like, I guess, since I did it, I might as well try. Sure. I just what the I guess. Why did it switch back? Uh, surprise! It it's on a time limit, and the game doesn't tell you. Why would you do that? <laughs> You know, just Blade Kit and things. I guess. Oh. It's consistent. You can just always get stuck right there. Yeah. There's... There's gotta be more. What do we do <laughs> with the money? You're supposed to be able to buy stuff, but I don't think we've found the shop yet. 
you might be able to access it through the menu because you can like buy different blades and different costumes for Kit. I do know about one of the costumes. Hey, you coming along too? Wait, you want to be here too? Who doesn't? This is the chance of a lifetime. So this what is what are you talking about? Like this. Sure, I've seen the images of the new estates. Just beautiful. What are you talking about? To settle in. Right. I'm missing something here. There's, yeah, me too, Kit. There is plot that we are getting that we have not had any context for. And there's a man shooting me. Oh. <laughs> this game. <laughs> Just, yeah, let's end the, the cutscene and have you behind a, a, an opaque foreground object. <laughs> Like, uh -huh. we could change that. We're the developers. We could put the camera and the character anywhere we want. You could no, just we... not put a thing in the foreground. Yeah. You could make it transparent or, like, translucent or something. They have, tra like, a translucent effect in this game. Yeah, there's... there's but the... it just wasn't there. <laughs> there's also the cutaway effect that it does. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus. I know making games is very hard, but like making games is impossible. But come on, like nobody, <laughs> I, nobody had to be happy about the the decision, right? Right. Like some of these choices being made are very much like we would love to do better. Uh, unfortunately, Damn. we just don't have the time. We do not have the time. We don't have the budget. <laughs> we got to get That's this it. video game out. So we've been playing, well, I've been playing so much Star Fox Adventures that I just keep trying and hoping that Kit acts like Fox and just goes through fire without reacting. <laughs> but I have to keep re reminding myself that this game, she does get knocked back quite a yeah. bit sometimes. I don't think I'm supposed to be wall jumping up that. I don't think so, no. I don't know where the fuck to go. Uh-huh. Yeah, I couldn't even begin to guess. Because it seems like that would be the way to go. Yeah, like you would climb up or something. Mm, I don't think I missed anything over here. Hold no? on. Like, please. <laughs> I wish she wasn't affected by fire. I didn't know that's a thing that I wanted in more video games. <laughs> oh, nothing up there. And there's no high jump or anything. Oh, hold on. There was something that looked familiar, something that looked like progress on the other side of this, but I can't go through this. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, Blake Kitten. You know what? That's fine. It could be worse. Oh. <laughs> For some reason, Kit also has momentum when climbing up and down walls. Well, yeah, that's for the verisimilitude. <laughs> that's that's how you really feel like you're a part of the Blade Kitten universe. Oh, I got stun locked and died. Oops. Oh well, no consequences. Uh, yeah, no consequence whatsoever. I mean, at this point... At this point, I learned that she has a triple jump like Mario. Ah! <laughs> and, well, I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Oh boy. Platforming. Instant death platforming with Blade Kitten. The yeah. stickiest, slidiest character I've ever controlled. It's weird that, that she could be both. But right? <laughs> the geniuses at Chrome, they found a way. And bless them for it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, that guy's having a great time. Yeah, hello? Um. Well. Buddy? I'm just gonna break this wall and. Oh, sorry. I don't think he was long for this world anyway. He was gonna die anyway, yeah. Are you 
you supposed to be able to tell which ceilings you can break open? Because I can't. <laughs> you just uh, do it. You can you can tell on some of the walls, but sometimes on the ceiling, it's very hard to tell that there's cracks there. So if there's like no way forward, you, you just kind of mash you and see if stay. dust comes out. Hmm. The Sollers are up to something. Quickly, let us out. Okay, hey, do you have any idea what the other person was talking about? Forward. The Sollers are up to no good. We will. Right, Skippy? Yeah. Uh, uh. Great. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then so that the other Sullers person are... is just hanging out. They're fine in whatever prison cell they were in. Yeah, it... Mm, like I said, we are missing some kind of plot, I feel. Oh! Yeah, uh, isn't it also like... Okay, oh, so they were me. they were imprisoned by the the rent the, cops, the rent cops, the red guys. But also at the end of the last level, the end of the last episode, the guy asked us to help some of the rent cops. Well, that guy I think is like the mayor of the town or the city or something. Yeah, and he's being forced to work with them. I think. He doesn't actually want- whoa. He doesn't actually want to. Oh, fuck. I'm yeah. gonna not get the- okay. I made it through the impenetrable laser. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he's like- going from a game where nothing is solid to a game where everything <laughs> is solid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's jarring. Um, but yeah, I think the story is that that guy is being forced to work with or reluctantly is working with them. But there, it feels like there's so much stuff happening in this game that is not told to me, or... I don't know, maybe they did the thing where it's audio logs or something Ooh. that I'm not collecting, because I am not trying to go find secrets in this game. Yeah, no thanks. There's a lot of just pointless gears around here, huh? Yeah, I don't know what they're supposed to be doing. You know what? Like, I've decided that whatever extra thing is up there is not worth it. We're leaving. Good. Good. <laughs> like we seem to be area... in some kind of building now. Yeah, we are. For a second I thought we were outside, but we're not. No, it's like an underground warehouse, it looks like. Sure, why not? You know, I thought that thing was a hover bike when I played this. Same. Same, actually. It unfortunately is not a hover bike. It's something else. It's one of those lasers, isn't it? Yeah, it's a laser. We have to go find the switch to turn the laser on to destroy that big metal door. Hey, dude. I don't know why that exploded. <laughs> I think you hit a barrel or something. Oh, maybe. Hooray, you got 5,000 space yen or something. Is that good? Who knows? Maybe one day I'll figure out how to spend money in this. Maybe one of the power-ups is like, you can buy a GPS. <laughs> It'll just give you a path to follow. <laughs> Yeah, just a constant arrow <laughs> hovering around Kit, being like, go this way, go yeah. that way. We need to remake this in 2023 so that the GPS idea we're making up also does the TikTok voice. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I have no idea if that was a mini game or a cutscene. That was a cutscene. That was just go up to the thing and press Y, and then we have to play a cutscene for this switch to activate. Okay. Like, you see how that could have been a, a mini game, though, right? Yeah, you could have had to, to mash a QTE. This was made around the time when QTEs were super popular. Oh! Hey. Look out for the laser. They will not look oh. out for the laser. All right, I guess that's all the men. Oh, oh Jesus, there's more men. Every 
every time I see it, that that one move gets goofier and goofier. The Berserker Barrage. <laughs> Yeah, and just kind of sit and wait. Luckily, I don't really need to do anything. Well, I guess this guy is just gonna come with us. He doesn't want to stop blocking. <laughs> Our new friend, the wall. Yeah, hey, do you want to see the end of the level with me? Come on, buddy, let's go. So, do you have any All right, bye. There he is. Okay. Me neither. No, kid. I have no idea what that was about. Yeah. At this point, I could not explain the story of, of Blade Kid and even a little bit. Yeah, it. I remember it started with, like, we landed and somebody stole our ID. They stole our breaker key. We got the breaker key back. I have no idea what happened in between that, but now we're being asked to go assist the the rento cops. Which, hey, we're here. You gotta help us. The squads took us by surprise, and we've taken heavy losses. And I care why. Maybe you guys should have found another planet to bully. Lady, exactly, kid. And I'm trying to patch them up. Boo. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're just following orders. Boo. Go fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. How can I help? This troop has a message for the commander. Also, I love that this dude is like, hey, you civilian. No, no, no. Come he, help me. <laughs> he knew who you were, is the thing. Oh. Uh, That's the one. Well, he's dead now. The breaker's here. And now everybody knows I'm here, and everybody knows that I'm the breaker. Stop her. I don't think it was I'd ever really a secret. I don't know what that tutorial menu said, but you know what? We are just going to kind of avoid. I can't think of a reason for doing combat, so... Yeah. I just don't think the Blade Kitten would want to fight a bunch of people if she didn't have to. I'm role-playing now. <laughs> God damn it. We're doing a job so that we get paid, but also we're doing a job for the cops. So, you know, hey, can you stop the guys trying to kill us? No, that's hey, your died. problem. But it's fine. You know, this game, had this. these are like brand new enemy types. I mean, not these guys. Not them, but the, the other guys, the robots. I'm so glad this game has regenerative health. I... yeah... The breaker's here. Stop I think if this game had been made three years earlier than it was, it probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And you'd probably have to go health... hunt down health upgrades. The breaker's here! So, these new enemies have new moves. Like this. Like the ability to T-pose you? There were so many capture states in that combo, I thought I was playing an NRS game for a second. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, even more reason to just avoid these, these enemies. They are just absolutely super obnoxious. It's not like you really get anything for fighting. You get, oh, wow, you got 20 space yen. Mm -hmm. Cool. Picked up this dude's pocket change. What the? Watch out, she's got a blade. Oh. Uh, wait. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be helping them? Why are they shooting you now? Yeah, we're like supposed to be helping them, but apparently nobody sent the memo, but everybody sent the memo that I was coming. The, I guess nobody read the PS that said, hey, don't kill her, she's got a disc or something? Nobody fucking checks their emails on this planet. It is amazing to me that they forgot the conceit of the level that quickly into the level. <laughs> How is anyone supposed to use this hatch? 
Why was there a switch to open this up? I have to assume that, like, whoever it is that's actually supposed to come work on this stuff, they have, you know, I don't know, a jetpack or a floating platform or something. Maybe. Oh boy, it's one of these. Great. <laughs> one of these rooms. I love these rooms. You know, I actually don't really mind these rooms in most games. I'd probably hate it in this, but that's because this game is bad. Yeah, in most games it wouldn't be too bad because you would have finite and good control over the character, but this character has the strangest moment. Okay. I don't know what just happened there. She thought she was on some kind of other corner on the other side and tried to flip up and... Yeah. Oh no. Well, I'll just run under. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. That'll do. Whatever works. Oh no, you missed some space bucks. Oh no. Oh hey! This kind of looks like a, a Star Wars boss. That could be a boss, sure. Kind of makes a Star Wars boss noise. What? What is it doing? <laughs> well, it's spawning spawning men for me. Why are? Oh my God! This game. These are the guys you're supposed to deliver a message for. And they're just I, like, eh, let's I fucking think so. kill her. Well, anyway, we've seen the entire boss pattern. We just have to go through it exactly one more time. That's fun. I also and don't now it's really smoking, know. so I can't see? Yeah. I also don't really know whose side this big robot's supposed to be on. It's impossible to tell. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was on the wrong side. You're not supposed to be behind it. You're supposed to be it, hitting it from the front. <laughs> they made it trivially easy to get behind it. Yeah. Okay. This game was made under duress. That's the only thing I can get out of this. <laughs> wow. Did you like Kit's rage mode or whatever that was? Um, I mean, it definitely got you through the fight. I mean, I could have just held forward and gotten through the fight. <laughs> Yeah, true. Oh, jeez, what's happening? Oh, time to get stunlocked again. Yeah, well, hold on. So I don't know where we are. We're in some kind of, of castle. Yeah, why not? There's another robot back here, but it looks like it's fighting the other people. I don't know what's happening. But you know what? We're just going to try and leave as fast as possible. Yeah. I think that's what, what Kit Ballard would do in real life, is just be like, No, I'm out. Shit sucks and I'm hitting the bricks. <laughs> she's, she's to open getting, up a new path with my sword. She's not getting paid to fight, she's getting presumably paid to deliver a, a weird metal CD. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure we're not getting paid to do this either. Hey, um, I think we're helping that guy to keep us out of jail, but like... They're not going to arrest me, they're going to murder me. I don't know if you noticed this when you were playing, but like, when we're done, go back and, and look at some of the shadows in the background Oh, I of see this. them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I did not notice that when I was playing. I was just focused on skipping as much of this level as I could. <laughs> right, like a reasonable human being Sweet. would, yes. Yeah. But, yeah, no, the shadows are making some moves. <laughs> Damn. Excuse me. I, There's so many men. I also and so little time. <laughs> what? A woman? No, a punk kid with a sword. 
One of your boys gave me this message for you. <laughs> Do you, like, need me to read it to you? How about you just hand it over and go play somewhere else? Code Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. All Fuck you off. Uh huh. Are the naughty lizard people being twelve all? Look, kid. I don't know who you are, but you need to get out of here pronto. This is a very bad place to be right now. Wait, what about? Get out of there now! Run! You know I just killed like five dozen of your guys, right? Yeah. Oh, there's an eye back there. That's weird, huh? Hey, so. What do you think uh, a set piece would look like in, in the world of Blade Kitten? Bad. All right. Your, your expectations are, are perfect for this. Oh, good. I, I love being right. <laughs> also, I just feel like, okay, I know that this is probably the actual aesthetic that they meant to go for. Like, you know, just... Because this is a prequel to a webcomic that existed before the game, and... You! So they probably had everything looking how it should. Just checking out someone who's... It really just looks like they took some castle levels from another game and slammed them in here. <laughs> yeah. will be dead soon enough. Okay, why do you want me dead? Oh, shit. Kit, you better get out of there before the Megazord comes to fight this thing. I guess the cavalry has arrived. It's 2010, and everybody loves Cthulhu. Uh-huh. It's public domain, so why not throw a Cthulhu in your game? I do love that this creature's method of attack is kind of just... This is like the equivalent of your kid walking through the cereal aisle and sticking their hand in the... <laughs> <laughs> Just sticking their hands to the aisle and pushing all the products off. Just running, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, so what do I need to do here? I guess just keep moving forward and it'll be fine? Do you have to, like, wait? Why are really? you hitting me, dude? Oh, well, you're dead now and so am I, I guess. It's good to know that none Ooh. of these jackasses have any sort of priorities. Oh, of course, no, they're basically just stormtroopers. Did stormtroopers have self-preservation? A lot of them did, yeah, it's just oh, that they okay. happen to be movie mooks, so it doesn't get them very far. I see. These guys are the, the level of, like, the uncharted enemies. Right. I think, yeah. That's a better, better comparison. See, now I'm wondering why Cthulhu wants you dead specifically. I don't know. I just don't think... Kit, maybe once it moves on, you should just stay in one place. Could you try the Y-axis? <laughs> yeah. Like, just let him move on. Yeah. You don't need to keep going. Look, he's gone. Just kind of whistle nonchalantly and go the other way. Or teleport to the other side of the wall and become involved. I guess. You know what? I'm just going to hold the block button and hope. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think it has any overheads. It well, looks I got like an overhead. the block button, so woo! That, lo that looks like an overhead, but it hits mid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everyone still stands up to block it. Nobody ever labs. <laughs> Wasn't there some game where that was a thing where, like, everybody... It was kind of a recent thing where everybody thought some move was overhead and it wasn't. Oh! Oh my god, yeah, it was some... Some underplayed character, but I don't remember if it was, like, <laughs> Street Fighter? I think it might have been Street Fighter V, but someone was like, yeah, nobody has to block this overhead, it's just a mid. <laughs> right. 
I think just it was the, Street Fighter. Just the fakest mix-up in the world. Ooh, slow motion. It's it's so cinematic. All right, so I know I'm comparing like 2010 technology to 2023 technology, but like I could open up Blender and and YouTube and I could do that same wall crumbling effect in about 20 <laughs> minutes. Mhm. Mm There's just plugins that do that now. Oh. Skiff's going to be the hero. Oh, that's nasty, though. <laughs> Why were you fall? I don't... I think they saw it happen in some media or anime they watched, and they were like, yeah, that's how we should do our falling animation. Like a leaf. Yeah, just let's... Let's just copy what other things do. That's Blade Kitten. Ow. Ugh, I've really got to stop playing in traffic. Right, Skiffy? You know what traffic is, right, Skiffy? Skiffy! Huh. Well, this looks different. Finally, a new environment. Yay.